This video is brought to you by Squarespace, a platform perfect for creating your own website. Stay tuned to hear more. I've just always really loved doing like detail work and stuff. What kind of crime scene is this? So here is how the pictures came out. I think they look pretty cute. And if you guys want to know all my tips and secrets on how I custom paint sunny angels like this, then stay tuned because I'm about to tell you guys everything there is to know. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to start my day off with some coffee because we have a long day of painting ahead of us. This is going to be part two of my Sunny Angel painting video, so I'm so happy that you guys are here. And we're finally going to finish our series today. Also, before we start, here's a little nail check. I feel like I will get some questions. I did do my nails again. I have little miffies on my thumbs. So if you see me holding any items, yes, I have little miffies and I love them. I did these. I don't even remember when. A few days ago, I think they're pretty new and I'm just so happy with how they turned out. And I wanna say this is my first video filming with them. So yeah, new nails. And if you guys wanna see more stuff about my nails, check out my TikTok, cause that's usually where I post like nail inspo, but yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. My name is Tiffany. I am so excited to be doing a part two to this video. If you guys haven't seen part one where I painted these two little cutie babies, definitely go check that out. I loved making that video. It's probably one of my favorite videos I've ever made. Now that we have these two, it's time for the part two where I'm gonna be painting the cute little cat and the cute little sheep. So if you guys are interested in these types of videos, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And if this video gets enough love, then I will definitely make another one. There's actually been quite a few, what's the word? developments since the last time we were painting these. As you guys probably recall from last time, these are the two sunnies that we are going to be painting today. We have the sheep and the cat. Even though I thought I made extra sure that the cake bodies all lined up with the appropriate guys, they actually didn't. And so for these two, uh, there's already a few inaccuracies. Not that I was trying to make it super accurate because I wanted to use colors that I liked, which by the way, the sprinkles on this little bunny one are still pending. I'm not sure if I like all of the colors of them so I'm going to see how I feel once I finish the whole set and then maybe I'll like them more because right now I'm like maybe I don't like it in reference to the pink one because obviously the pink one is so cutie you know I didn't seal them yet so I'm totally able to go back and change them but I didn't realize that first of all the cakes that I have are not completely accurate I also messed up one of the cakes I don't even want to show you guys because it's really ugly I did redo the bunny so this is actually my second try with a second cake so that means that the cakes have been kind of disheveled and shuffled around a bit the little sheep guy is going Going to use one of my mint cakes so that actually works out but for the kitty i want to be able to use one that has kind of trim like this guy because i just realized i like the way that these look a lot better either this one or this one honestly with the bows but i thought maybe it'd be cute if we did another one like this the issue with that would be that i don't have another one right now and also if you guys actually take a close look at the photo and i didn't really realize that until i started filming the last video but the cat that they use is not this one it is actually a tabby cat and I went to a sunny angel meetup about a week ago and I actually found a tabby cat that someone had so I traded them for it I don't even remember what I traded but we got the tabby cat so we at least have the right one there and so I'm still debating what cake and what fruit I want to use for this one so my decisions right now are between these two cakes for the little kitty guy I'm still debating on it so I will figure that out by the time I actually get to painting this guy but I cannot wait to finish this collection because the first two came out so good and I really love them. Let's go ahead and get started with the babies. I got all my materials that I need and so we can start painting now. Look at these. They're never going to be this beautiful again. But I love them. <laughs> I'm going to take his head off. Ba bam Now we have a cat. Black. Get off here. And a sheep. <laughs> babies! And here we have the new guy. I am so excited for this baby not to be green anymore. In the original photo, this guy is actually a really bright, let me find it. This was the main reason why I wanted to paint my own. As you can see, I feel like there was so much potential for this guy to be cute, like pastel purple, but they made it like a fuchsia and I really wasn't a fan of that. So we're gonna make him a cute little pastel like lilac color in the same way that for the dog one, it's like a very much peachy pink and I wanted it to be a very cutie like bubblegum pink. So that's why we did the dog one in those colors. And I love how this one turned out. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all my paints. I like to use the Pro 
curl brand. If you guys want to hear more about the paint and stuff, definitely check out my last Sunny Angel painting video because I go through all of like the basics on why I use what I use and uh, what I like about it. This stuff goes on super easy. I'm going to use the white primer and we're going to go ahead and I guess, I mean, the head low key is already white, but I'm going to prime it anyway. And I got my brushes here in my cutie little guy. <laughs> Love this baby. Let's see what brush I want to use today. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, this baby is officially going to be changed forever. <laughs> Priming part always makes me feel strange because even though it's like super necessary, it doesn't feel very like productive to me. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense or resonates with anyone else, but I feel like I feel more productive when I'm like putting on the color and stuff. Okay, here it is with the primer on. It is a little pastel baby, but now I'm going to mix up the purple for it. I low-key have such a hard time mixing up colors for these, but I feel like since we have this pink one to go off of with like shade and stuff, maybe it won't be that bad, but instead of like the really pinkish fuchsia bright color that they chose, I'm going to be doing a more pastel lavender color, similar kind of to this baby's little hood little nifty I made a while ago. So I think we're gonna do something like that. Here are some colors, time to mix them up. I am indeed going to use the back of this packaging. I do do to this type of stuff way too often. And yes, I do need a real palette, but I don't want to get one because I'm too lazy. I'm liking this shade and I'm not sure if it'll be too light or dark. Oh, it's definitely gonna come out too dark. But before we start painting, let's talk about Squarespace really quick. They're a website building platform and the sponsor of today's video. I've been using them to run my online shop and I just recently did another drop of the glass bunnies and you guys can actually check that out in the description box. And you can also see what Squarespace is truly capable of because they have made my website so beautiful. I'm truly able to customize my entire website to my aesthetic and I can upload my products super easily every single drop day. And their website building functions are hassle-free and super easy to use. So I definitely recommend them. If you guys are interested, please head to squarespace.com forward slash Tiffany Wang and use the code Tiffany Wang for discount code off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you again so much to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to the painting. It's looking a little crazy out here because we just got babies everywhere. Here are how the swatches are turning out. We're currently waiting for this one to dry but they just come out so dark and I remember with the pink one that even when you think it's not going to come out dark after you put so many layers on it to make the color even it's going to get even darker so and even though I'm low-key using up a lot of paint doing this it's important to get the color right or I'm just going to hate it. I think the one at the top is definitely the best one and I think that's the one I'm going to go with. Also I don't know why I did the swatches in the front instead of the back this time but but what's done is done, so let's go ahead and fill this guy in. Okay, I'm excited. This is definitely one of the best parts. So firstly, I'm gonna cover up these patches in the front, obviously, because they are just doing too much out here. And now that those are covered for the first layer, we can go ahead and start just covering all of it. I feel like this color is really cute. It looks really light right now, but I know that it will dry darker. I'm gonna make sure I do really thin coats so that the brush strokes aren't too apparent. I think painting the cake part is probably the most satisfying because the shape was white, so like the color is fine, but the green cake, I just really can't stand. I do feel like it looks really light right now, but I'm going to trust the process. Lately, I've been having the hardest time like having confidence in my colors. So I hope I don't have to change this 100 million times to get it right. Cause that would just, ugh, life would just be so much easier. I'm so happy to see this mint color Get out of here though. I'm gonna pull the head off so that I can paint that part. Still debating on if this purple is a little bit too light. It's time to do some of the edges so I'm gonna switch my brush to a smaller one and we can do some of the detail work. I feel like some people might find this part stressful but I actually really enjoy this part. I 
feel like it just makes it all come together. I've just always really loved doing like detail work and stuff. Also, the sheep is low-key coming out looking like a grape. So there's the sheep head with all of the edges done. Obviously, there still needs to be more coats. And I didn't even notice, but there's actually a bunch of like crevices in between the little lumps on the head that I didn't even get in because I was using such a big brush earlier. So I'm going to go in with my tiny brush and just fill some of those in right now. Oh my gosh, it just looks, I just love how much better it looks with the purple on as opposed to the colors it was previously, but here it is. I feel like the shade goes well with the pink one, so I'm happy about that too. I love thinking about stuff as like the whole set as well, because I feel like that's just like a kind of important sometimes when you do this kind of stuff. And I did want to make a dreaming purple giraffe hipper. I haven't been able to find the dreaming hippers anywhere near me, so I'm going to use this purple since I have some left over and I don't want to waste it. And I'm going to paint the giraffe that I have as well really quickly, so that'll just be something that we do a little bit on the side. I have Giraffe Hipper right here. I don't particularly love him. He's kind of whatever, but let's make this guy purple really quickly because I just like really don't have any use for him otherwise. Okay, now this guy is purple. I'm gonna just be painting him on the off chance that I have some time from waiting for the layers for the other babies to dry, but this is what it looks like so far. I think this shade of purple was really perfect for the Dreaming Hipper giraffe, so I'm glad I had some left over and it was just like perfect and it just worked out really, really well. But now that this baby looks like this, we can go ahead and get back to the other babies that we were working on and this one will just be on and off. I don't even know if this one will be done by the end of the video. We'll see. It'll be a happy surprise if it is. So in the original photo for this guy, the horns and the bottom part are like a fuchsia color and I'm debating on what color I want to do for that. I could do like a darker pink which would be similar to this guy or I could do a darker purple which might be a safer option. I did one of the horns with the dark purple and I think it looks pretty good so I'm gonna go ahead and just do the other one. The colors look so similar when they go on though that it's kind of hard to tell. But I am debating on doing a light green trim for this part because I'm kind of inspired by the little Miffy that we got right here. The purple with the green I just feel like looks so cute and we already have it on this one that I'm like maybe it would be cute to have it a different color. So I got the green mixed up and let's go ahead and just see how this looks. I think I like the contrast but these scalloped parts are always fun and they're low-key really easy to paint. and now the base is green. I feel like that looks pretty good. I like the combination of colors. Also, I really didn't want to make it dark purple because these berries are going to be like a bluish purple too and I just feel like that's a lot of purple. <laughs> we got purple cake. It's time for the blueberries because I love the part with the berries so you can actually start to see them a little bit and I'm debating if I want to do pink hearts or yellow hearts. Do, do, do. Now you can start seeing like the distinction between the cake and the berries. I feel like the base takes so much longer than all the details that I always forget that by the time I am at this step, we are like almost done. And that is just so exciting. I think we should try the yellow because maybe it'll go well with the green. Does this yellow look good? I like can't tell. I'm like so biased against yellow for some reason. Hmm. I'll do the next one a little bit lighter. Maybe if we make it pastel. That's my solution for like everything in life. It's just like if I make it pastel, maybe I'll like it more. I think I do like it better pastel though. Like I'm not even being crazy. 
Alternatively, maybe we could do like a cream color. Do we like this better? I feel like I do. Yes, I feel like this is like the tranquil color that I want. Maybe it's because it reminds me of like lavender and cotton, like that combo. That just, it feels calmer to me than like whatever is going on over here. So let's go ahead and cover this. Okay, all that we have left now is the words on his body. And I really hope that my camera lasts long enough because it's about to die, but this is the last thing I'm gonna do today before uh, we finish up this baby. So let's go ahead and just do our best and write the words. You guys know this is always the hardest part for me. So I hope it goes well. I'm gonna have to be silent because I'm gonna be so focused. I do have a way smaller brush than last time though. So I feel like that'll make it a lot easier. All right, now time to do this successfully and in a hurry, low key. writing it too large compared to the other two sunnies I already did. Oh my god, it's so off center. What am I doing? Ugh, try number three. Okay, I think this one looks good, but unfortunately it's not matching the delicacy of this one. And also maybe it's not dark enough, so I think I'm gonna redo it again. But we'll just we'll just keep going until we get it right. So try number four now. OMG, we did it. And there's the other one. <gasps> I think they look cute together. I'm gonna let this text like settle uh, and then I will come and look at it again. Cause I feel like because I just did it, I'm like staring at it too hard, but I think they look good with our squad so far. Also, I changed a few of the colors of the sprinkles to some of the colors that we use today. And I just feel like it looks better. Uh, it's low key been bothering me. So I've just been thinking about how I wanted to like do that. If I really feel like it, I'm gonna go over a party with a lighter blue, but here's our squad so far. And I feel like they look cute. I like them. Just kidding, I redid it one more time, but I think it finally actually looks good. And now I am done. Now I am satisfied. And I will see you guys tomorrow for the cat one. She is next. What kind of crime scene is this? Thank you, cute white birthday cake for your sacrifice. We are officially going to be changing you into a cat. So we got the current squadron all lined up and I'm gonna switch these guys. I actually had a phase where I was pulling these cakes for a long time and I actually didn't like them at the time. I had so many, but they've really grown on me since then. So the other two that I have, or I guess I have three other ones. I don't know how many I have, but I kind of love all of them now. But let's go ahead and get them painted. So I'm gonna start with some primer. Just gonna shake this up, make sure it's all good. And this is kind of similar with the sheep where because it has a white body, primer won't really show up that well, but we can start with just this guy like this. There are some slight indentations for the tabby cat for like the little markings on the back of its head. So I didn't realize that there was a difference until I took a much closer look at the sunnies that we are kind of basing these off of. But I'm glad I caught that. And I was honestly super lucky to be able to pull this tabby cat when I went to the trade event. And when I was looking at the original series, the yellow cat was probably one of my favorites from its like original design. Like I don't think there's much that I'll have to change for the yellow cat. You wanna make sure to even prime the edges. So here it is all primed. I'm gonna try to mix up the color. I don't really know exactly how I'm gonna go about doing this. I feel like this specific shade of the acrylic for some reason has been giving me a bit of a tough time. There's some yellow. Looks like I'd be able to use some of this cream instead of just white because it has like a yellow tint. From my previous paints, I've been using some pink here and there to kind of make the yellow less like 
like super yellow, if that makes sense. So let's see what shade I can mix up here. So here are the two shades that we have going on. I think the second one is pretty good. The first one's definitely a little bit too light. So I think we're just gonna go with that one. Okay, we got the squad, <laughs> we got baby, and I think we have the right shade. It's really important to try to keep these coats like as thin as possible so that they don't too many brush strokes going on. I was gonna say that I hope these indentations stay clear, but judging by how it's going right now, I don't think they're going to be lost. It's a little bit hard for me to imagine what the full color is gonna come out as when it's not opaque yet, because colors change so much depending on how many coats you put on them. So this one will just be a work in progress until we can figure it out. So now that it's looking like this, and I will say, I think the color matching on this one looks really good compared to the other ones that I've done. Now we're gonna do some of the more difficult parts. So we're gonna do the parts around the arms, which take a little bit more precision to do. The other arm. I'm gonna take the head off so we can get in here. I kind of like to go like on top of the berries just a little bit, just to make sure that the kind of edges are covered around the berries. There we go, all covered. And lastly, I'm gonna put the little cat head on a little bod. I'm gonna levitate it a little bit so that the neck is not directly pressed in. And now I'm gonna go around and do the edges on here. the most satisfying parts for sure. Once the edges are covered, you can really start to see it come together because then you don't really have any like reminders of what color it used to be. And now we just have this little bottom part. And so here is coat number one done on the different pieces. Now it's just time to start making it opaque because right now it is not solid all the way through. And now that the base coat is done, we are able to start adding the details. I'm really excited to paint the stripes on this cat. I just feel like it'll make it so much cuter. I think we're gonna start with the base though, because we always, I feel like, do the scallop part first. I just mixed up this dark yellow, like goldish color. And I guess on the front, you can see what it looks like when it's dried. And I'm debating if it's dark enough. So I'm gonna do a second coat on all of these little scallops. And of course, I have to take off the head. Now the first layer of the bottom scallop part is done. And now that I'm seeing it dry, this color definitely is dark enough. This is what my hair looks like when I'm actually painting. <laughs> I have it like tucked all the way back and I feel like I look like a little baby. Anyway, apparently the color for the base here is also the color for the inside of the ears. So I'm just gonna do that while I'm at it. I think it's also the same color for the nose. So we're gonna start doing some of the facial features on the cat, which is gonna be really cute and exciting. Okay, now I'm gonna try and attempt to do the little whiskers, which do have a little bit of an indent, so it's not the hardest, but it's a little bit scary, so. And nice, two little whiskers. And so these stripes go all the way down the head and on the sides. I'm gonna just fill them in with this green color. I'm waiting if that's too dark. That might be a little bit too dark, so I'm gonna add a little bit of white to the paint I have. be like holding my breath while doing these stripes low key but and there are the cat stripes they are now green they're looking pretty cute very accurate to the photo low key so i'm happy about that and now we're gonna do the green little piping on the edge i'm gonna add this lilac purple color kind of 
to the little dots here at the top. I really love that they chose this purple color. I kind of wasn't sure like what color they were gonna go with because I kind of forgot what the reference photo looked like. When I pulled it up, I was like, oh gee, it's like this cutest little purple color. That is such a good choice by them. So I just mixed up a little pink color. I'm not sure if it's gonna be too light or too dark. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do every other berry because I have been enjoying like having the berries kind of alternate between light and dark just because I think it adds a little bit more visual interest. So we can kind of test the color this way and see how it dries. And if it's like a little bit too light, then I can make the alternating berries darker. And if it's dark enough, then I can make the alternating berries a little bit lighter. Right now it's looking like the alternating berries are gonna have to be a little bit darker. There are all of the berries. I just realized that this cat still doesn't have eyeballs. So let's go ahead and give it eyeballs. And also I guess now it can go back on its bod. Just very cute and exciting. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm happy. Ah, I can already see it with the fam. I feel like it's looking good. Okay, so let's get its eyeballs on. Then we just need to write the little words which always freak me out and we'll be done. I think now we finished everything except for the text. I'm a little bit afraid. Honestly, I can't even tell what it says for this one because they wrote it in like a really light font for some reason. I don't really know why exactly they did that. Oh, this says, oh, it says you are my treasure. It's what it currently looks like before I start trying. I think we'll do it in, I don't know if I wanna do it in a pink. Like I feel like there's already pink on this one and then I use red on this one. So I just feel like there's not really a need to make Gosh, I keep knocking them over. I don't feel like there's really a need to make this one, you know, another pink one. I feel like blue would be fun because we did blue on this one. We never used blue again. And I feel like it could look good on this one. So let's, let's take a gander and try that one. I had her tone down the blue one on this one. So I'll try to get it to the same shade, I guess. Oh my gosh, I just made that decision right now. So hopefully I don't come to regret it. I mixed up a little blue color. It looks good i think we got the pink one as reference here i just feel like that one's the one i did really good on so let's just try to do it let's see how many tries this one takes me so it says you are my treasure and it reminds me of that song that i don't even know but it's like you are my sea you are my sunshine the stars that came out kind of good i'm gonna clean it up a bit and then wow i don't want to jinx anything by saying anything but the UR came out pretty good. Oh my God, I did it on my first try. I still need to clean up the second line I just did, but that is insane. So how I clean it up is I turn it upside down and I just kind of go over some of the lines that are a little bit strange. But there we are. This one is done and I'm glad I chose blue. I feel like it looks really good. Ah. So here we are zoomed out with all of the babies. <gasps> Look at them. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy to see them all together finally. Like, are you seeing these? So these two were from the last video. If you guys did not watch that video, definitely go and watch it because probably one of my favorite videos I've ever filmed, hence the part two. And now we got these babies. It's kind of hard to hold two of them at once, but <sighs> we got all of them. I'm so happy. Like they just came out so incredibly cute. I love them and I am just so pleased. I'm also really relieved that we're done because this project has been a long one in the making and despite all of the efforts I've put in and how much fun I've had honestly making these, I'm happy to have like completed them. You know, like I really wanted to have them finished. And so here they are all in a row now, like in relation to each other. They're so cute. I love them. Yay, we did it. Also back here the whole time, I do have a bunch of packages getting ready to be shipped from the last clay drop. I think these ones in particular are all for one person, but we have a lot of cutie little babies in here. Like we got matcha dongo, eggies, more eggies apparently. And I think we have some glass bunny necklaces, which are super cute. So that's just kind of what's going on in here. Okay, let's set it up so that we can take a cute of them. Oh, I love them so much. 
cookies. Look at them, babies. So I want to take one just like this. Love that. So simple. Let's take one simple one just like this. Got my little cam. And now I think I'll do another one of them standing. So here is how the pictures came out. I think they look pretty cute. They are a little bit blurry, a little bit out of focus, a little bit off center. This one came out pretty. I'm thinking about getting a Polaroid printer because I want to take these close up photos a lot more often. It's really hard to do it with the actual camera. I love having the camera, but I'm thinking about getting a printer in the near future because, oh, I guess lastly, I need to finish this little giraffe guy. I still have not done. So I'm going to do that off camera. I'll just show you guys in the outro. But thank you guys so much for watching, for hanging out with me. I am so appreciative of you guys. And also, thank you guys all for all of the love from my last polymer clay launch i did do some more stuff it's all in my shop right now and it's been selling really great so i'm so thankful for you guys and i just want to thank you and follow my instagram if you guys haven't already you'll see more photos of these little babies and if you guys have any other sunny angel combos or just in general that you want me to paint drop a comment down below and i'll probably do them in a future video because i really love making these painting videos i haven't been doing professional repaints for very long i've always done repaints and they've always come out kind of sus because like the materials I used were not that great but I think I'm finally getting a hang of them so I'm really happy with how these ones came out but thank you guys again for watching for hanging out let me know what you think in the comments down below and we will see you guys in the next video goodbye everyone Mwah.